He's in the bag, boys. He ain't going nowhere. Except to my dinner plate. Yes! All right, guys, welcome back to Active Duty Outdoors. I got a special guest appearance today, none other than Jordan Renfro. Just got back from Air Force basic training and tech school. He's home for a couple days, so I got him in the Predator PDL. This is his first attempt going offshore in the Gulf of Mexico. We got him set up. Look, we even got him a little Ozark paddle. And of course, I'm in the 136, and the 136 is the beast when we're out here kayak fishing. I also got my little runt rod. If you guys saw my last video, that thing put in some work on a trigger fish. Today I'm going to try to get them on, I don't know, some red snappers. So I'm going to stop talking and we're going to get out there to go fish. All right, guys, we got a fish on here. I don't know what it is. He's not pulling very hard. Probably a little blue runner. Again, always the blue runners. That's what he feels like. I'm just going to keep reeling while I'm going. Mm -hmm. He's got a little bit of fight to him, but it could just be my patrol motor. What do we got, boys? Hey, and I finally got my little shoe on my uh, DJI mic, so now you guys let me know how the sound is on this video. Oh, there's a mahi! There's a mahi! Bros, this is my first freaking mahi from a kayak! He's gonna freak out here in a second. Oh, sh come on, come on. Getting a little closer. Don't lose this guy. Should have brought my net. I gotta just flip him in. Whoa! Look at that, John! I got a mahi! Hopefully, this guy doesn't jump out of my kayak. These guys are known to go freaking nuts. See if that works. All right. Look at that, boys. That is freaking awesome. My son's out here with me today. He must be my good luck, I'm telling you. Dang, that is so cool. Mahi from a kayak. He's starting to change colors, but we're gonna eat good tonight. Man, I'm excited. I gotta send a picture of that to Sarah. Oh man, she loves mahi. The last time I caught a mahi was when I was in Hawaii. All right, now to try to get him in the fish bag without losing him. Oh man, I'm nervous. He's in the bag, boys. He ain't going nowhere, except to my dinner plate. Yes! Man. All right, so I'll let you guys know what I caught him on. I'm gonna get it rigged up again before I start going. So I made this little skirt. So I caught that guy in homemade tackle too, which is cool. I got about, I don't know, eight inches of 43 pound wire leader tied to a number six J hook, and then just a short little wire stinger, which he bent up, so hopefully I can unbend it. And then just a frozen cigar minnow for the mahi. So I'm gonna rig him up, I'm gonna get him back out there, and I'll show you guys exactly how I rig it. Got these cigar minnows, they're still pretty frozen. So I just kind of rinse it in the water a little bit. Give it some exercises. All right, so to rig him up, I'm just feeding this J-hook through the bottom of his lip, right about the center, coming up the middle. And then I'll take this little stinger hook and I'm just putting it right in his back. And then when it's trolling, it looks like that. So let's get him back in the water and uh, see if we can't do it again. He is 19 and a half to the fork. That's pretty awesome. First mahi. All right guys, I got my uh, 
a little hydro flask here. It's empty, it's clean. I'm gonna grab some ocean water, fill this bad boy up. And then we're gonna take that home. And here at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you guys why I did that. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Figure out why I just filled up this hydro flask with salt water. All right, I got a theory. I just had like five flying fish just take off from around me. I'm assuming they're getting chased by something and I'm assuming that's dolphin. And by dolphin, I mean mahi-mahi. So here in about 10 seconds, my lures should be coming through with those flying fish. We're just jumping. But if my theory holds correctly, I might get a bite. So let's see. And there it is. All right, it's a little bit bigger. It's got a little bit more fight to it. He's pulling. Might've felt a jump just now. Could be another mahi. Trolling the live cigar minnow again. Should be coming up, whatever it is. I'm about to get top of my spool. Another mahi. Yeah, another mahi. Hell yeah. Boat flip that guy in. He's going nuts, boys. Yes! He's going nuts. Don't you freaking hook me. Don't you hook me. He's off, he's off. Oh boy, he came off and he's flapping around, but I got a hold of him. I got a strangle death, death grip on this boy. Woo, that's another mahi. I'm afraid to let him go. He's, he's flapping around. Get these fish grips on him. Yeah, he ain't going nowhere. That's a nice mahi. Look at that, boys. He's starting to change colors. God, they're such pretty fish. This is so awesome that this is in my backyard and that I can come out here and catch these guys. Man, you guys don't know what kind of thrill this is. If you guys ever get down to the Navarre area, pick up a kayak, come do some trolling. Man, I'm gonna bleed this guy out. And we're gonna put him on the bag. We are eating good tonight. Just covering my kayak in blood. But I don't want to keep putting him over the edge. The dang shark come up and eat my hand off, man. I ain't trying to go out like that. I think that's good. He's bled out. We're gonna put him in the bag too. Boys, we're doing a catch and cook tonight. That just solidifies it. The first one's gonna be practice. And the second one, I'll show you guys how I flay these guys out and cook them. All right, you guys, that was awesome. Two mahi. One trip, I think that's gonna make an awesome video. Hopefully uh, that little boat flip came up on the camera too. So I'll show you guys a freaking sweet ass picture of a kayak flip. And those mahi, I was trolling about three, 3.7 miles an hour. That seemed to be a good speed for him. Jordy kind of took off. I don't think he was feeling too well. So hopefully he's back on shore. I'm about to troll over that way and I'm pretty sure I could see him up there by the shoreline, so. We're gonna go check on him, and then maybe I'll keep trolling around, man. If these mahi are out here, God, I don't know what to do. Dilemma.
All right, welcome to the prep station. We got the mahi, one of them, out here getting ready to get cut up. We're gonna come down from that pec fin down to his anal fin, and we're just gonna make a slit. And then we're gonna come from that slit. We're gonna work our way up around his gills and up into his head meat. Because mahi have some awesome Head meat. Not a whole lot on these little guys, but you get into the big bulls and uh, you get a lot of meat out of them. And then from there, we're going to start making our slice down the back. Come over and start going down the back side of them. And then before we take this flay off, we're gonna make all of our cuts over on this side too. Now we start making our cuts. We're gonna flay this guy out, keeping that knife on those bones. Angle down just a little bit. They're such pretty fish. Look at these. Look at these spots. I just love these guys. Probably the prettiest fish out there. There you go, there's one filet, one side. Do the same to this side. All right, and then for the filets, you can do more in two ways. You can cut it in half, so you have less to work with, or you can just go all the way down. These guys aren't so big, so I'm just gonna Grab that skin. It's a nice good fillet. We'll get that bloodline out here in a second. So for that, we're just gonna come angle down and away from it. Cut it right out. Alright, now, if you guys remember, we had this thing in the kayak. This is full of salt water. I learned a long time ago that when you catch saltwater fish, you don't want to clean the fillets in fresh water. You want to do it in salt. said just to make the fillets mushy if you use fresh water. So that's the cleaning part of them. Let's get to the cooking part of them. All right, so the cleaning part's done. Now we're gonna take some of this olive oil and we're just gonna spread it all over this black stone. So we're gonna do some of this breaded and some of it not breaded. So while that's warming up, turn all that down a little bit. While it's warming up, I'm gonna grab some breading. We're gonna bread a few of those. All right, and then for our breading, we use this guy right here, a little Everglades, all-purpose breader. I'm gonna cut these up into little chunks. We're gonna chunk it up. Not that head meat. That head meat's mine, and I'm not putting breading on it.
I'm gonna throw that chunks right in here. That's pretty good. It's pretty awesome going out and launching a kayak at eight o'clock in the morning, coming home by 10, catching a few fish, and then cooking them up for lunch. Everybody inside is like, Dad, hurry up, stop making a video. We're starving. I'm like, hey. I'm trying to make a video here. You just sit back and relax. Lunch will be done when lunch is done. We're gonna take the rest of our fish. We're gonna cook it straight on the grill. And I didn't have a lemon, so I'm using some lime. Mudzo? See, I told you they were all getting antsy for my food. Not gonna do anything crazy here, just a little bit of salt. Blackstone. My blackstone is clean, dog. This thing is seasoned. This thing is seasoned. It's beautiful. Listen, you don't understand. Blackstones are made to have flavor. The black stone is kind of dirty, so don't judge me. And your Yelp reviews are going down. Whoa! See? Everybody's coming out here yelling at the chef. Perfect perfection food takes time. All right, and then some flour tortillas. You need a little bit of oil for those. You get those in there. Well, those guys are done. Doesn't take long to cook fish. Don't want to overcook it. Then you're just gonna make it mushy. So I got my lime still. I'm gonna take my tomato. I'm gonna cut the tomato into little chunks. I'm gonna take some of my fish, some of my mahi. I'm gonna stick it in this taco shell. Give myself a little lettuce. Give myself a little tomato. A little squirt of some lime, a little bit of some creamy melt cheese. These little taco racks, they hold six tacos. So we'll get six of those loaded up, but first, give this bad boy a try. Fresh mahi tacos from the Gulf to the table in less than two hours. <laughs> Man, you can't beat a mahi fish taco. These things are delicious. I'm gonna try it with the bread stuff, but I'm gonna get off here. I'm gonna get this food into those guys before they come out here with pitchforks and hunt me down. You guys don't forget, hit the like, hit the subscribe. I'm gonna see you guys on the next one. Okay, fish tacos are done.